G'day everyone, how's it going? Welcome to me cruising in the car, just heading up to a shoot in Brisbane from Gold Coast where I live. And yeah, I thought I'd just tune in and um, got the camera set up on a tripod so both hands are free, it's all safe and sound, um, don't freak out. But I just wanted to come in and say good day. Uh, I'm doing a shoot, the second round of the shoot for Metric on today, so pretty excited about that and going to be shooting with Sam again he's going to be yeah working the red and we're doing like a high-end editorial kind of video we're shooting it all in 8k on the red epic w um, I'm going to try and take you on as much of the journey as I can I'm on the ESR this is what I'm shooting on now Sam's going to be on the XT3 from uh, Fuji so we're going to try and get some behind the scenes stuff to share with you guys. The client's going to be there in the beginning of the shoot, so i just got to suss out. I've met her before, but I haven't worked alongside her. So i just got to suss out the demands from her, what she's expecting, and then from there hopefully we can share a little bit more about some shots we're going to get and the way we're getting those shots and, um, and my tripod's moving here. <laughs> Sorry about the tripod. <laughs> Um, yeah, some shots we're getting and the way we're kind of getting the shots and why we're getting the shots and things like that. So this is kind of real estate, uh, but it's really high end in the market. So it's a little bit different to like your, your general real estate walkthrough kind of videos. It's literally going to be um, yeah, us building a story around the home. And I'm not sure if you've seen the video that I posted on my community tab, but I'll link it below. Um, it's the one on the Riviera. Awesome um, opportunity to produce that, and it really changes the game of what Metricon, they're a really big builder here in Australia that we've been working with uh, nationwide, and it really changes the game of what they've been doing before. So it's more high-end editorial pieces and really telling a story and immersing you in the home and trying to tell, take you on a journey through the home and tell the story of the home. So. Uh, really excellent stuff to do in that real estate space. It's not, you know, house walkthrough or something like that. It's much more detail oriented, high end, cinematic, and you know, we're capturing it all on a red. So that's that's kind of what the client needs for it. So it is raining right now. So that's interesting. Um, yeah, not so sure about how we're going to go today if it does rain. There's a lot we can do inside the house, but we've got a drone to put up and a few other things we need, some sort of clutch shots of the outside of the home as well, so the rain is not cool. We're just putting on my windscreen wipers. But you know, you get that uh, with with working. So I'm still like 45 minutes away from the home, so perhaps it won't be as big a deal uh, as it feels right now. So we'll just kind of have to wait and see how it pans out with the weather. But at this stage, I'm not going to cancel or anything due to the weather because uh, we could probably shoot 80% of the film, which is inside the home. So we're shooting this uh, from two o'clock uh, until two o'clock until uh, about eight tonight. Well, it depends. Seven or seven, seven thirty is when it will go dark, and there's not really many shots we want to capture after that. I think the video is going to finish on a shot of the facade of the home and the frontage of the home. So. That'll be in like after sunlight, um, after sunset shot. And so it's not really critical that we shoot any, you know, after sort of 7.30. So we'll be out of there by eight o'clock tonight, but we shoot these in the afternoon because we kind of prepare and do anything in the interiors that aren't really looking towards windows. We do that sort of from the time we arrive from one to two o'clock, we bump in and maybe about 1.30 we'll start shooting, two o'clock we'll, we'll be like into it and we shoot sort of all the features inside the property looking away from windows and not sort of featuring windows and then anything with big windows in it or shooting towards outdoor spaces sorry again my camera's moving here anything that's shooting towards um yeah windows or outdoor spaces we wait till the light starts to really pop and it starts to even the exposure between inside and outside and that's a real key when you're shooting interiors uh of houses especially video because in photography you can kind of um, you can kind of match up and do different exposures and merge different exposures in post but with video you really need to shoot at the at the right time to get those exposures correct and sort of similar so we wait until maybe four or five o'clock even 
and that we're literally hustling. There's a two hour period where we'll really pump it for two hours and get all those kind of shots that are the big clutch shots for this home that are shooting towards uh, you know the big open areas where you can see a lot of light coming in and hopefully we get a little bit of pop and color in the sky it's nice when there's some cloud and there's some color some orange and yellows coming out of the sky as well because you can see that generally in some of these bigger shots that we'll be shooting this is more a residential uh, house so it's in a residential estate and um, so it won't be as clutch as the Riviera that we shot which again I'll link below but this tends to be um, yeah, a little bit more tricky, but you still want that pop in color on the outside, especially the drone stuff. So we won't really launch the drone until maybe 5 p.m., 5 to 5.30 p.m. is when we'll sort of start to launch the drone. We've got a couple of batteries for the drone, so we'll put the drone up and try and get some really cool shots with cool backdrop. I can do sky replacement later. I don't really want to do that. I want to shoot it really authentically. Uh, if we're looking at any lens flares, if you, if you saw Riviera, there's a bunch of lens flares and um, there's you know, shots where sun, the sun came in across the edge of the building and that was all shot on the day. None of that was light leaked or you know, overlaid or anything in post. It was all authentically shot with the home on the day. So that's kind of how I like to shoot stuff. I want to really capture the essence of the home, how it feels, how it looks and try and immerse the viewer in, in that. So that's what we'll be doing today. And you know, you kind of roll with what you got. We've got a bit of a cloudy sky, so it's going to be a little bit more moody but it should be still a great, um, yeah, it should still be a great result. Shooting on the red, we've got the dynamic range that we need to get, um, you know, the, the kind of dynamic range you require for this type of house uh, is really important. You know, to shoot this on a DSLR, it's really gonna be only two hours that you have between sort of five and seven o'clock uh, right at sunset where you're gonna get the exposure correct and where your dynamic range on the DSLR is gonna handle it. So you need about 14 to 16 stops of dynamic range for shoots like this. So anyway, I've got to blabbed a bit, a bit too long. Uh, yeah, let's get into the shoot and um, we'll, we'll catch up again once we get to the uh, actual property and I'll take you through maybe some shots that we're doing there. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this vlog and just enjoy the sort of info that I've shared about how we're gonna do it. So yeah, see you soon. Coming at you on the super wide. It's crazy wide. This is show off the house to you anyway, look at it. It's a nice pool area. It's insane. Property kitchen. Massive. Raining at the moment outside. I think it might have just stopped. So we're kind of just having a chill, having a break. Um, this lens I'm using, Sam's um, Laowa 12 millimeter. It's called the D Dreamer. It's um, yeah, f2.8 zero distortion. It's just nuts. Way too wide to vlog with, but I thought I'd give it a give it a little little go on the SR and see how it looks. Pretty cool. So right now the lens is like literally like 250 centimeters or 250 millimeters away. It's like super close. So. Um, yeah, I'm, what, what I'm going to do is once Sam's, um, once we sort of set up again for some shots, once the sun appear, appears, um, it's about three o'clock now, so around four o'clock, I'm going to set up some shots, get Sam to set up a shot, and then talk to you guys exactly what he's doing, what sort of shot he's getting. So literally, um, you can just see exactly the settings he's using, how we're shooting this, um, whether on a slider or glide cam, just depending on what shot we'll be doing. But um, yeah, I wanna take you through the shots we're getting, how I planned it out in my head when I came to the actual property as well, just to give you guys something to think about when you're planning a shoot or yeah, if you're doing anything where you wanna um, up your game and you know make it more creative or think about um, yeah doing a concept in your own stuff that you're doing or if you're a commercial um, cinematographer or photographer, just to think about concepts before you turn up so you have a bit of a plan and a game plan. So um, I'll show you on screen now the storyboard that I put together for this. It's just a three-page storyboard. I did it in InDesign, came to the house. I shot everything on the Canon EOS R 
um, photos and video, but basically put together a storyboard to send to the client to give like an idea of the concept that I was thinking of. And yeah, from there, basically, um, that, that then forms, you know, the basis of what Sam and I come out and shoot. We'll jump now to showing you what setting Sam's using, what shot we're gonna get. I'll show you in the storyboard which shot we're capturing and you guys can see some of the process, all right? That's nice. Mm. Yeah. That's friction. She's based. That's luck. Cool. Okay. So what shot are we getting now, Sam? So the glycam one felt a little bit awkward, so we just thought go back to simple, back to the basics, put it on a tripod and we're just gonna do like a nice pan left and tilt up to go from the living room to upstairs. Tell us the settings, what you're thinking. Yeah, so well. um, it's just 8K 25 frames a second. It's all Michael's projects are 25 frames. Um, we're at 180 shutter, which is the right shutter speed, and just stopping down the lines to F4. Um, we've done a custom white balance on the red. You can just push one button and it'll do custom tint and custom white balance. So we're just under 5,000 with a tint of six towards pink or purple um, and 8K HD, so it's 16 by nine. Um, with just 22 to 1 compression because it's going on the web so you don't need movie standard. Tell me about um, the ISO what I can do later if I need to change color temp and stuff. Yeah so because it's the red it's all raw data so similar to shooting raw photos you can change your ISO you can change your white balance you can customize everything after the fact except for your aperture and your shutter speed it's basically baked in everything else is a bit lenient. And explain the shutter speed to me, like you said 180, was you yeah, 180? Yeah, so I do want to, I changed it from being in shutter speed to shutter angle because I changed from frame rates a lot. So going between say 60 frames and 25 frames, I would forget to go double half the time. So 180 just means it's always going to be double no matter what frame rate you go to. Yeah, sweet, there you have it. That's pretty much how we shoot these kind of projects on the red. and. This gives you a crazy good image, raw, so you can really work with the dynamic range, like I was talking about at the start of this uh, vid. Um, gives me a lot to work with in post, and it can really nail down the look that I want for the client, for their property, so. I'm just adjusting the friction on here to try and get the best smoothest take so I'm just playing around and trying to dial it in at the moment yeah that's the our Benro tripod as well so it's got fluid control it's got pan fluid pan as well with three different settings or four different settings for um, the amount of what do you call it like drag yeah. it's got drag settings and that last one felt pretty good going for a take now yep rolling A bit oh, tiny, bit tiny, bit faster, maybe. That did not feel smooth. As you can see, Sam's trying to get the shot to be as smooth as possible. It's all about just letting the camera and the tripod and the gear that you have do the work. So, you know, it's a really good tripod. It's not high, high end, but it's kind of mid, medium end. Um, and it's got a really good fluid drag on it. So it's about just really letting that tripod do, do the work and not straining or stressing out. And we do a few different takes, like we try and get one take really slow that I can speed up in post, um, one take that's a little bit quicker, and then we do a faster take if I really need something to just, you know, jump between two musical transitions and be a shorter, like, transition. I can then use that faster take. So I think on the Riviera project, 
I said I mentioned I'd link below that one there was like three takes of everything so I could f kind of fit the edit to how um, the music was got was playing and I didn't really need to do any speed ramping or anything on all that because I had each shot for every single um, scene that we'd storyboarded so each shot times three different kind of speeds and that was really helpful in the edit so yeah that's what we get that's why we're sort of spending so much time in this one shot but just to get the variations that we need to make it work in post so These ones feel the best, holding on the battery and just... Definitely the smoothest I've found so far. And actually the most control, strangely enough. Like those last two takes felt really good, pulling against the drag. So, ghetto. Sweet, so I think we're gonna move on from that shot, head upstairs to the bedroom. Now this staircase is kind of a transitional element in my storyboard and timeline. It's literally going from downstairs, we're kind of during the day and when we go upstairs, we're flicking into kind of the evening. So we're gonna wait another hour or so before the sun. I'm not sure if you can sort of see, but there's still a lot of light outside. So we're gonna wait until that gets a little bit more color and a little bit less, maybe about 4.35 p.m. and then start to shoot all the bedroom and key elements in the ensuite and stuff like that. It's always really good to take the viewer through a journey from starting when they're coming into the home and then by the end of the home, uh, by the end of the video, it's like the end of the day. And I like to do that because it psychologically works for the viewer to walk them through the house and for it to go through a different period of light. You can see the house in sunlight. You can also see the house when it's like twilight and there's some pop in the sky maybe at sunset. And then you can also see the house in the evening once there's really not much light left in the sky. So that's the way I sort of plan my shoots like this, um, especially for to kind of up the level of a, of a general walkthrough that normally happens you know, you shoot it all in one hour or two hours. We're shooting this over like six hours. So that's what I do to kind of get that feel uh, and, and get, get it to sort of flow for the viewer. So you can just see now some light coming, some sunlight coming. So we're gonna check out the front of the property to maybe shoot some of those elements. So we'll, um, I'll come back to you when I can, but we're probably on the hustle now for the next hour or so. So maybe we'll come back to you after that once we're back in uh, the ensuite and the bedroom area. Take two. So I was a bit shaky, so we got Michael on the on the red now, giving him the burn. Look at that technique. I feel like this is going to be smoother than I was. So, we should, so that will slow down to 25. Yeah, so three super, times. Super slow, yeah. Cool. Just it's to like hold. Like oil almost. Yeah. Um, That's really nice. Like it looks mad. Quick review. Yeah. So last one is from here ish. Um, yeah, he's literally just running over the shots, making sure. See story, what we have left. Storyboards, see do. what we've got left, what we haven't actually. Um, yeah, shot yet. We just got the drone up, which um, looked really good. Really happy with how that looked. Um, yeah, so got the drone up, got some really good shots in, really flat light. So I can then color grade those drone shots to look like it's sunset and evening, uh, which would be really cool. The light just got right for us and the sun came out and the rain stayed away. So that was awesome. Um, yeah, I think that's good updated where we're at right now. Um, sorry, I wasn't able to check in a bit more and show you the shots we were getting, but it was just we were such on such a time crunch. Um, maybe now I'll try and show you some of the shots we're getting 
uh, when we head upstairs to the bedroom, but I'll just see how we're going with that too. Basically now up into the bedroom, get the shots where they've still got light outside, out in the windows. There's a nice big window in the ensuite, the master ensuite bathroom, so we're gonna capture that as well. Uh, and then there's one more detail shot that we're getting from the pool towards the house. That's kind of at night before we cut to a closing shot that will be at the front of the house. So yeah, that's literally everything. That's where we're at right now. So uh, I'll check back in with you guys soon. Thanks for watching along. Yeah, so we're just doing a little slider shot um, to reveal the vanities a little bit, but when you actually come to the end of the framing, in the reflection you actually get what's in the bathroom as well. So Michael's really well thought out this shot, um, so you can actually get in the background, you can see in that mirror. Um, so it's kind of just a reveal of that, and everyone's like, whoa, that's sick, I didn't know there was that stuff too. But it looks really good on 12mm, get some really nice... Really nice, good look. Literally, this is um, second last, third last maybe shot. So we've got we've got another shot. We're gonna do like a creative kind of shot towards a port window. And then we're gonna do a shot outside um, of the front edge of the property when it's dark. So the property's lit. Uh, that's kind of the closing shot, It'd be a parallaxing shot on the slider. Um, there's one other outdoor shot we need to get as well, looking back towards the house at night. So literally we're changing scenes after this bathroom, we're going to night. So it's gone from daytime when we entered the bathroom or twilight, I guess, sunset maybe. And then when we're in the bathroom, it's gone to night. It's just like hanging out in the bathroom, it goes to night. And then literally we are outside. And one more thing I just remembered is we didn't have, uh, on that shot, we didn't have that on. So we're gonna do it again with that on. <laughs> So we're just going one more time with the shot because I've just remembered that we had the bath uh, running. So we had the water running. So we're just getting it one more shot and then we're done in the boudoir. From here. And for all you young guys out there, Sam's been going for three days at a hotel. Uh, he's been shooting 10 hour days. He comes and shoots with me. He's literally been on point for the last six hours. We've still got an hour to go, maybe seven hours in now. Um, and he's literally just the gun. So you gotta get to a point where you can just go hard for like four or five days straight if you're gonna make it in this game because it's long hours, it's tough directors usually. Like I'm a pretty good director, I don't push too hard, but some directors will literally push and push and push. So you gotta be prepared to work. And um, Don't work for me, I'm, I'm, I'm a terrible boss. I'll pay you nothing and work you really hard. <laughs> But, but Michael. But yeah, yeah. Sam, um, Sam's, you know, good at that. But it's good for you young guys out there watching, looking in, thinking you want to do this. Um, you know, it's dark outside. It's Friday night. Everyone's probably out, you know, chilling and having a good time. And we're still stuck in a home um, doing this. So, yeah. i got a wife and kid at home that yeah. you could be hanging out with. That's it. I just called my wifey and said goodnight to my boy. And we're still here. But it's the game. We love it. So not complaining. I'm just saying, young guys, like, prepare to work hard and, uh, and work towards end. Sam, another thing about him, he's invested everything back into what he does. So that's why he can rock up with a red, uh, you know, and smash out these projects. His day rate's going up and up and up, and I'm probably not gonna be able to afford him soon, but literally, he's the man. So young guys, you can do it. You know, how old are you, Sam? 22. You're only 22. So, cool. So just trade in like a sec. Yeah. That looks really nice. Do we want to have these bedroom doors closed? Uh, yeah, one way. Oh, yeah, it, it might be the cool doors, so. Yeah. It is the cool doors. I'll yeah. take close them both. So, we're going to be here. Get all of those four in. Get the two mirrors cool. Get a bit of focus. So, we're just getting square up, and then we're just going to push straight in. Alright, open this up. Cool. This is yours too, brother. <clears throat> That yep. Sweet. Wrapping it all up. Got the red card. Gonna do a bunch of editing now. Not tonight, wrecked now, but 
soon and um yeah we just literally got the last half hour in did a really cool shot outside kind of missed the front shot it was like i wanted it to be a little bit more light but it had a nice blue color to it we're really pushing the red to get what we wanted but i think it's usable if not we might just come back just get that one extra shot um to get it spot on but i'm gonna have a good look at the um the edit and in the next couple of days find out if we got it or not yeah, I can't, don't know what else um, I can tell you guys. Maybe comment below if you had any other questions for Sam or myself. Um, thanks for hanging out with us. I know it was a bit rushed at times, but just trying to show you guys as much as we could while we're under the pump with getting this shoot done. So, yeah, just um, thanks for tuning in and um, keep creating, keep up in the game, and we'll see you in the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe if you got something out of this content. And, yeah, thank you so much. I've got a giveaway. It's going until 15th of December, so like six more days or something. Make sure you enter that if you want to win the MX Master S2 mouse, which is awesome for video editors. Uh, so get your hands on that and get into the thing. It's on my webpage, and I'll put a link below to that so you can check out the giveaway as well. But thanks so much for being on the journey. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Sam just said he wanted to say g'day as well, say something to finish. See you guys. Thanks for tagging along. Putting up with me. I have to put up with myself every day of my life. So, thanks. Like and subscribe. Yeah, and like and subscribe to this guy. <laughs> Biggest boss hog ever. Sweet. You. Yeah. See you in the next one. Bye.